Hello! Welcome to my channel. This is a session of a portrait of a lion that I'm very happy to say that it's bigger than an image that I have created myself. It is the result of this image plus this one that became this. This paint I started with Rematura. I painted all the space with an ink wash and I used a tupper time to remove the ink, make the drawing appear. Thanks to the flexibility of the technique, I made two sketches in the same canvas without leaving any marks behind. I was a little in doubt how I would classify this video, if it is expectation versus reality or if it is a portrait series, because I still have a huge difficulty painting animals, especially fur. And at least at this video, the quality is better than the sunshine one, but there was still a huge challenge that was to find a position where the paint would not receive so much glare that I could not see what I was doing there. Maybe it has something to do to the fact that I'm using a lot of dark colors. As I just started this channel, the videos are still at an identity crisis. I'm trying to get into a template style and use it for everything and still differentiate the two different series. I feel like I am advancing a little. This line was the most difficult animal that I have ever painted. Instead of going with the instincts, it's definitely the most comfortable approach. I tried to be consistent in a choice of technique. I wanted to make hair by hair and then I had to go darker on the background and values to appear through the fur. But it was a little bit of a brain killer because without realizing I was always coming back to the old habits and then I had to keep correcting. I wanted a monochrome dramatic look for this one. I chose to work only with three colors. Black Noir, Sepia, and Titanium White. I was aiming for a painting style that I have seen on the profile of Carla Grace Art in Instagram. At this point, I started to put the hair strokes. I am using ink with topper time to make the lines as clean as I can. And the good thing is that it, it dries very fast. My first feeling doing it was about how difficult it feels to make proportions right. It was like I could not judge at all the right colors to make the hair and how to make the color changes. But I just kept doing it to hopefully some time I, I wouldn't understand what I was doing.
At this point, I still feel totally lost. The biggest struggle here is to get the proportions right at the nose and region of the eyes. I'm still doing it, doing it. I have partly erased half of the work in the face because it still doesn't feel like the lighting shadows are making the correct shapes. I thought I was almost done with the facial hair. At the recording of the pictures, it feels a little better than in person. In person, it feels very unreal, almost like the fur was neon. But I don't know what to do to make it better. And apparently to glue the canvas directly to the wall is the best solution to eliminate the glare. I started the long hairs now, and it felt like it was going to look good. And then, wait a minute, did the line who went to the hairdresser? That hair is more straight than mine, so it's not right. When something isn't going very well, it's better to refresh the eye and move to another point. Although I'm still lost on how to correct my mistakes with that line-by-line -line approach, the recording finally got nice in light and position. Score!
weeks later, many watch tutorials, changing approach and another almost completely erased. I decided to go raw. I saw people doing underpaint with acrylic and then applying oil ink on top. I lost my patience to wait to dry again, so I used acrylic. But it was a crazy move because my acrylic is a generic sold in supermarket and not water resistant. So it may be a disaster. The regular look for the hair finally appeared. In the end, the idea is just to add a little bit of ink, add a fan or flat or angled brush, and go very lightly. Ooh, erasing the face again. What I realized is that uh, when I was doing the hair by hair approach, what I should have done is made a second layer of line by line and that would probably kill that aspect of neon because I would have hair in different directions going on top of each other. I am still erasing and trying to get the right proportions. Change of air before I kill someone in my bad mood. It looks like I'm erasing again, but what I'm doing now is to apply the glazing. I have done the hair and the face in acrylic to quickly fix my mistakes. And with the glazing, I am making the coat of oil ink made more transparent with the use of liquid. And that is how I actually do some tones that really white. At the hair, I had no problems to pass the coat on top of the acrylic. Then when I was doing the face, uh, the acrylic started to move and make a uh, stain without texture. But I would still buy a decent acrylic to use in situations like that. I declared the painting done for now, though I don't feel like it's ready yet. But I cannot stand to keep doing my work at it for now. This is how it looks like. It looks okay. It was more than 20 hours of work on it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. 